I got a request to do a problem in chapter 2. Number 18B. And this is about properties of a buffer. And the use of glycine, the amino acid, to make a buffer. And in part B, you're told that you have an 0.1 molar solution of glycine at pH 9. And you're asked, what fraction of glycine has its amino group in the NH3 form? So I always like to draw out the entire amino acid just to be aware of what I'm looking at. So this question is really only focusing on this group from glycine, and you're told that the pKa is 9.6. You're told that the pH of your solution is 9.0, so you can use that information with the pKa to figure out the fraction of the amino group. So pH equals pKa plus log of A minus over HA. So A minus is the NH2 form, and HA is the NH3 plus form. I always like to take a minute and label it to make sure that I'm aware of the two species that we're working with. Then I plug in 9 for the pH, and the pKa you were told is 9.6 plus log of NH2 over NH3+. Plus. You subtract 9.6 from this side, so you get minus 0.6. equals log of NH2 over NH3. You take the antilog of negative 0.6 and you get 0.25 for the ratio of the deprotonated, the protonated version of glycine at the amino group. Another way you can say this is 1 over 4 so if there's one deprotonated version for every four protonated versions you'd think of out of every five one is going to be in the NH2 form, and out of every five, four of them will be in the NH3 form. So one-fifth deprotonated amino group at pH 9, and four-fifths have a protonated amino group at pH 9.